Sis, what are you? Okay, the whole room? Did that just waggly wave across the entire room with a goddamn laser? Are you taking the piss? I don't know what the fuck's going on. Right then, I don't know when this is getting released, so on the off chance I decide to bump this to be the first Afterbirth Plus video, HOLY SHIT IT'S AFTERBIRTH PLUS! There you go, there's the excitement. Gotta phone it in, we're a let's player, we're a, we're an obvious bunch, but... I've now figured out what I've gotta to do to get to goddamn the DLC floor, I've realised what I've gotta to do to survive, so I may or may not have given myself a little bit of an advantage to start off with, because, you know, giving yourself more options than there's options so you actually find the new things, I mean, that's not the biggest sin, right? Don't judge me. Oh, Praptosis. That's very good, but then my range would be about what? Uh, two? Ah, oh, fuck it, I'm a smart man, I'll do it anyway. Well, then I realize <laughs> they end up being the size that they were originally at the furthest range. So you know what? That worked out for the goddamn best, didn't it? Also, I've got two gouged out eyeballs with the weird Cyclops thing in the background. Ew. Ah, the portals! <laughs> They're awesome. You know, things that just spawn enemies endlessly, forever, and ever, and ever? You know, just on the off chance that you're on the further floors and they spawn, they can spawn bosses like the Horn for fun, whenever they like, however much they like. <laughs> oh, Macmillan, you sure know how to make a good game bad. I still got hit like a great big bitch. <sighs> Fuck him. You know what? I've already got enough damage. I'm going to go ahead and take something to block the inevitable bullet hell that's going to be the final boss. If the hus was the last thing he added, I dread to bastarding think what this one's gonna be. Ooh! You could come in handy. Balls to ya. Or balls to it, should I say. Balls to you when I'm picking you up, it's a hell of a mixed message. I'll take a Guppy's collar on the off chance I get to become Guppy. I mean, bloody hell, that would help in the long run now, wouldn't it? Also, might as well take the health as I just took it away from myself. <laughs> oh, of all the trinkets, it's the good one. <laughs> this game's got a soft spot for me today, apparently. Continuum! Yeah, fuck it. That's gonna make perfect sense with things that just disappear. Why the fuck did I take that? That was a very challenging, uh, trap room. <laughs> I'm standing by the philosophy. Oh, it's the new boss, quote-unquote. You know, the one that's... Well, you'll bloody see. It's spammy and annoying as dicks. Oh, God. If you thought Little Horn was a pain in the arse, may I introduce you to your new nightmare? You landed right on the fire that you made. You're a damn fool. You're an ass. You're also a pretty big asshole. Have I mentioned that one? It's just a much more spammy and annoying and cowardly little horn. That's all he is. He may look menacing, but he's got the backbone of a goddamn beetle. Although now I think about it, they're relatively strong and cool, and well, that really wasn't much of an insult. Now I think about it. Thank you, Dark Bomb. Oh, it's the pentagram of dark chests that are going to give me absolutely nothing except for a fucking headache. I'm sorry, did that mushroom just tank two giant polyphema shots? Those things are fucking hard. Those things are definitely from the Mushroom Kingdom. Those things have been bred through hardship. They can take more than a punch. I missed the bloody item room. Are you shitting on my cereal? God bloody buggering, fuck it. I've got to go all the way back. Give me some art so this dickhead will pay out and be nice. I've got a bomb back again. Hm. Fair enough, no complaints from Brew. <laughs> Slightly walking to that. <laughs> I almost fucked myself over once again. Doing what I do best all the goddamn time. Ooh. Do I have any batteries? I do. Yeah, fuck off. I regret nothing. I've forgotten how that progs, but I'm pretty sure that's gonna come in handy when a room gets filled with garbage. And I thought I could get to that, and I now realize that I can't. What a great big tit I am. I can't be asked to walk through the rest of this floor. Oh, I've teleported in and... Mass poison has affected them. Awesome. <laughs> I'll take an advantage. I, <laughs> I don't know what caused that, but it bloody worked. You know what? I think I'll bloody take it. Smaller? Smaller hitbox. Now if I can get BFF and make the hitbox of my orbitals even bigger. Oh, we're gonna survive the absolute shit show Macmillan made for the final boss. Oh, man. Screw it. I can't be bothered to re-roll you. I ain't got the time. Oh, this contagion thing may very well come in handy. Also, regretting not re-rolling it now that I've literally just walked into a room and got a battery. Is this mass contagion thing just gonna wipe out? Ladies and gentlemen, I was in a rush to get to Hush and I found an item that would just literally do exactly what I needed to Except for in this room, and help me rush right the fuck through everything. Pick that up and give me something. Oh, you sexy little black bastard, fucking hell. Really true what they say, once you go black, you never go goddamn back. Who needs Bumbo when you got this guy? Given how much I just nailed him right in the nuts, I'm pretty sure he'll be hitting the high key for a while. 
I can't turn that down. Thank you. Fuck a dog on a milk truck with... Irish luck, I don't know. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Also, I'll, I'll get more health back as well. I was about to say, where are these bombs coming from? I remembered I took that stupid sack. The golem was there for all of a fraction of a second. Would have loved to told you what he did, but he, no, he, he was there for literally a, a frame. You, you, you don't get his law. Credit card. I've got 72 coins, but I do believe that's going to do me a hell of a lot more good in the devil deal. So, um, thank you. Got to give the game credit where it's due. It's really given me a good goddamn run when I need one. Ooh, that could be worth it. How I wish I had taken the fool in here, then I could have gone back and picked this up. Now I'm thinking about it, it's exactly what I should have done if my brain was on before I actually made the decision I shouldn't have made before thinking. Well, there you go. That's how you play the game uh, in the right way. Uh, wanna, wanna take that seed and play this game in a way with the person with the brain? Go for it. Me? I'm just gonna keep making fuck-ups. Brilliant. Oh, boy, I, uh, don't like the fact that I've just left that behind, but seeing as it is, I am rushing. Well, I don't know, could, could I, could I get through that in a reasonable amount of time? It's not gonna take me, like, more than 18 minutes, is it? 17, by the way. I really can't count. And now I think about it, with my copious amount of damage, I really don't even know why I overestimated anything that can spawn in this room. It's already dead. The cage was over there, barely even got onto screen before it melted into a pile of sludge, and that's one of the tankiest bosses outside of Hush. So, yeah, I think we're good, you know? I think, I think we're okay at the moment. <laughs> Triple shot. <laughs> so I got triple shot and double shot, so I'm shooting. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna be okay in the long run on this one. Even with Hush. All I'm gonna need is a little bit of patience, and I think I've got this in the bag. Oh, good, the new bosses, which are absolute arseholes. Let's hope I melt these so I don't even have to fucking glance at their garbage. They jump up in the air and don't leave a drop shadow so you can't see where they're going to land. It's absolute garbage. But yes, those Sister Vi's or Sister Vis or every pronounce the goddamn little cunts. Oh, they're not fun. Assuming this is the first episode that comes out, I won't even blue balls you. Uh, let's cut to the footage of me getting my ass kicked by them. Sis, what are you? Okay, the whole room? Did that just waggly wave across the entire room with a goddamn laser? Are you taking the piss? I don't know what the fuck's going on. Hello, it lives. Goodbye. Oh, actually, you've lived. Buggering shit. Isn't very often you actually do live up to your name. Credit to you, I guess. Um, hmm. A job. Hmm. Uh, who wants to be Goppy? Uh, me. Uh, me? Goathead. Now. Really? You think you're funny, don't you? Fuck yourself. I rushed it to hush at the speed that I should have rushed it to the boss rush. Get on my level. You wish you were this speedy. Oh, I forgot about my... I am an idiot. Yay, I'm Guppy. Immediately forgets about the flies that accompany it. Is there something wrong with my brain? Good grief. No, but there's something wrong with Hush's health. <laughs> yeah, I'm more than okay with this. You spend all your time under there. I mean, th th that is the, that's the boss equivalent of hiding under the covers at night from the boogeyman. You absolute bitch. I'm a small boy that's turned into a cat goat demon man. You scared of me? Oh, here comes the RNG garbage. Can't wait for this. It's okay, just stand still and hope it doesn't hit you. And then he can still be a massive pussy and try to hide. God. <laughs> I forgot he has his own little army of flies. Get the fuck. Oh, oh my God, you spend one nanosecond being able to be hit and then fuck off again. God, you're a bitch. I mean, that being said, I'd do the same if I could. But <laughs> you're not supposed to. You whore's ass! You unlocked the void. Achievement. New area? Ooh. And yet, by the way, here's the most amazing part of this DLC. Hey, look, you've unlocked the void. That means you should, go to the, you should be able to go to the void, right? What's that? No, actually, you can't. You've got to exit the room, then come back into it, and then you can go into the void? Man, I wonder how many people screwed themselves over the first time and didn't actually get go into it because it didn't fucking spawn properly. Good fucking job! Curse of the Lost. On the void. There has never been a more fitting RNG curse. God bless you. Oh, what's there? We just went from the basement to the wall? Oh man, this void's weird. <laughs> Didn't actually make any new background assets, just uses them all and confuses the cock off of you. A boss. What if I were to tell you that there's more than one boss on this floor? The cage. Two of them. Died just as soon as one would, so... Oh, one up. 
That's tempting in case I fuck it up. Like, that's really tempting. A guaranteed retry. I wouldn't have all that much health, but it's tempting. But I've got to have confidence going into this. Like, I really do. And contract from below at this point isn't really going to help, so... Reroll. <coughs> I definitely made the wrong decision. Ah, oh, the bloats! Never have I been more happy to nuke something. Fuck you in your foothole, you fucking fucker. Although it is fitting that... Right now, when I'm about to face the hardest boss in the game, and with my slightly overpowered run, that I am getting a bloated sense of self-esteem, and then I fight him. I think that just put me back in my place. So hopefully I don't get ahead of myself. So damage or tears. Hmm. Tough one, actually. Sincerely, that is. Fuck it, I'm gonna go with this. Mainly because I'm now one off Spun. Oh, Spun, here we come. I don't think I fucked myself too hard there. Might have done. We'll never know. Although I just realized, do you like the fact there's two boss rooms right next to each other? <laughs> That's how you know this floor's fucked up. If I wanted to show you this one image and say, hey, this is the new floor of this DLC, you'd know you're in for a real goddamn treat unless you broke the run. You know, like Mr. Caffeine over here. I think this man would have more trouble fucking sleeping than he would beating the final boss. Oh, I found the final one. All right then, here we go. <laughs> this is probably gonna kick my ass. Um, what? What the f- It's, um... It's a teleporting mo what the f- Is Delirium just all the bosses? <laughs> I don't want to kill it quite yet, look at the damage I'm doing, I can kill this fucking thing! Jesus, let's not get ahead of ourselves. But I'm pretty confident I can kill this thing. I want to see- is it literally just all the bo- Yes, there's Sister Viss, there's the mega bloody brimstone I was on about, isn't it fun? Jesus, it just teleports in front of you! I don't like this. You goddamn sack of goddamn floppy knobs. He's literally just all the bosses rolled into one great big ball of bullshit. The Haunt. That is a glorious version of the Haunt. Oh, yes, I heard me name, Mum. Hello, how are you? What the f- That ain't kosher. Nope. I'm- f Get out of it. You have officially just used your one card for no- I'm done. Get me out of this shit. What the You can't just do that. You can't just flood the room with things and think that's an okay thing to do. I fucking triggered the shit out of me. Well, Macmillan, if you're gonna make, a, I mean, just put it in perspective. If 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 I did not have the broken run I did, if you have an average run, a normal one, a one that's fun and challenging to go up against Hush and stuff, and then you come up against this, you haven't got a snowball's chance in Frosty the Snowman's asshole of winning. Bullshit. So I, I I'm not even bothered. I'm not even upset with myself that I gave myself an ever so slight advantage. So you know what? No. You, you want to make a boss that incredulously fucking mean? I'm going to go ahead and cheat. I'm not even upset. I'm not even mad about it. What are you going to do? Nothing. What have I got to brag about? Also nothing. What am I going to do? Make a closing joke about the fact that, given how I did cheat, arguably the audience is most likely deliriously upset with me. What's going on here? It's... it's the real ending. Or maybe it isn't the real ending. Maybe this is just a semi. This is the second to last ending. Who knows? It's really depressing. A child living with a mother that hates him, crying to herself, uh, burning photos of his father with a whole chest full of those burned photos, and there he is killing himself in the chest all alone. You know, it's cutscenes like this that make me realize that this game is really super fucked and I'm way too desensitized to it. Oh, um, there was a final picture there of what I believe to be Isaac drawing himself killing his mother and father. That's not. and he's dead. Well, that being the first episode of Afterbirth Plus to go out, I do and sincerely hope you enjoyed it. If you want to go ahead and smash that like button till we get 10,000 and celebrate the fact that I actually completed this shit, fuck the goddamn boss, it is an absolute arsehole. I have fought it after this fact without being overpowered and, uh, yeah, yet to win. <laughs> Very glad I cheated. So if you want to go into the comment section and call me an absolutely cowardly arsehole for, you know, arguably cheating, I don't really know. I mean, only two of the items were cheated in. Literally only two. I, mean, I know there's the whole there's more options thing, but fuck it, it's the DLC. I didn't even, I barely even found any of the new items, might I add. Barely any. That was the main reason I did it, so it, it didn't even work out in the end for me, the actual point and purpose. Got overpowered though. Either way, go to the comments and call me an arsehole. I'll go over there and watch this video of this, which is... Him kicking the ever-loving fuck out of the boss in a more convincing fashion. With trials and tribulations and actually not being a cheating little prick like me. Although he did break the game. And also, you can uh, go to the description. There's a link. It goes to the merch. You can maybe buy it. You don't have to. I'd like it if you did. You don't have to, but I'd like it if you did. I'm just gonna say that one more time to just pull on your heartstrings, please. Failing that, though, you can just watch the rest of the video. Love you. 
Okay, um, is it meant to be this powerful? Did it scale with my damage or something? That's gotta be it. There's no way it's supposed to be like that from the bad. Oh, I was hoping for BFF, you bloody- mm, And he hits me as well. Further <laughs> rubbing it in that I suck. He fired once and I didn't move out of the way of it. Solely because I needed a bitch. Oh, you've got a battery. Good. Uh, what the fuck do I re-roll? Well, seeing as I can take both of these, I should definitely re-roll these. I'm so tempted to take that, but I don't think I've got sad bombs or anything, do I? Nope, not worth it. No, matter of fact, neither of those are worth it. Fuck the both of you. That bollocks as well. Oh, they're all shit. They're all equally shit. Hush. Oh, bloody hell, even the poison's wrecking him a little bit. This is mean. I'm on Necropolis 2 and I've not even been playing for 11 minutes. It does help when you make it yourself a little bit overpowered from the get-go. I, I regret nothing. You, you, once you've seen the final boss, if it's as bad as it's been built up to be for me, you'll see why it's more than justified. I, I shouldn't be such a bitch, because this is a pretty goddamn good DLC that was never even intended to be a DLC. It was just supposed to be mod support and he added all this on top of it as a little bit of love and care and joy. So, I shouldn't bitch at him. It's just, <laughs> what I've played of this game already has me a little bit ticked off. Which is a fitting statement to make on a run where I was against the clock. Haha, <laughs> full of jokes I'm not even trying to make. I'm at my best when I don't try. Fucking hell, phoning it in is my forte.